Hey guys, welcome to Zeus Fitness. Today we're going to do a 10 minute high intensity, no repeat dumbbell workout. What that means is we're going to go through 10 exercises for 10 minutes solid and we don't do any more laps. We just burn each muscle group out to the max in the time we've got. So you're probably going to ask what dumbbells should I be using, all right? I would suggest we go pretty light because we're going to be doing higher reps. But if you've got them at your disposal, have a couple of extra sets just lying around if you need to up or more realistically drop the weight a little bit for some exercises. But the idea is we're going to kind of keep the dumbbells in our hands for the entire 10 minutes. So it's only going to be 10 minutes long, but it's going to be a tough 10 minutes. So we're going to start with some lunges, then we're going to go on to some chest press, some bend of a row, some stiff leg deadlifts, some cuban presses, some bicep curls some crunches, uh, some tricep extensions, some pack crossovers, and some front raises. All right, no rest. So, grab your dumbbells, get ready to rock. We're starting with some lunges in 10 seconds. So we take the dumbbells in the hands, and we're gonna do alternate lunges, okay? And away we go. So step forward, come down, you can touch the knee, but don't bounce it off the floor. All right, looking for right angles between the hamstring and calves. Keep the core strong, so try not to shift your upper body forward so that the front leg takes all the weight like so. Try and keep yourself upright. Pick a point in the wall to look at in front of you. Keep staring at it and that'll keep you upright. And again, make sure you're getting a good bend in the knee and we're not turning it into a hip flexor stretch rather than a lunge. And stop, now we're gonna go on to the back and we're gonna do some chest presses. So from here, again, you need to go up a weight, then do so. Slow and controlled, bring the elbows down to touch. Don't rest in there though. I know it feels light now, but after so many reps of these, you're going to feel these starting to burn. And guys, if you find this easy, or you're only working with light dumbbells, and you feel you can do more, well, watch the video again, and start from scratch. And up we get, we're going into some bent over rows. Okay, now I'm going to do alternate bent over rows today. So we're going to do one arm at a time and then swap over. So back nice and flat, up, and other side. If you guys want to do both at the same time, then feel free. But remember, this is exercise three of 10, so we still got a lot to do here. Just keep the head in line with the spine. Keep the shoulders pinned back. Don't let the weight pull you too far forward. So you want to keep good back alignment here. Core engaged, knees soft. Abs drawn in. So we're not putting unnecessary pressure on the back. Just to hold the position. And stop, now we're going to do some stiff leg deadlifts. So, feet hip width apart, shoulders pinned back, knees soft, tilting from the hips. Really feel a good pull in the hamstrings, and then back up. And nice and deep, but again, most important part about this exercise, guys, don't lock out the knees. And also, from the head down to the butt, nice straight line. No curve in the upper back, and you've lost the exercise. So try and avoid the temptation of trying to touch the floor with these. Back nice and flat. Hinging from the hips. Keep the spine in control at all times. Don't let it curve. Mm -hmm. 
on stop. Now we got Cuban presses. This one's gonna burn. All right, so I'll do it from the side so you can see. It's an upright pull, turn, and into a press, and repeat. So it's an upright pull, as opposed to a reverse bicep curl, so not this. Same motion as if you were lifting your shirt, so up, turn, and press. Again, keep the core strong, feet hip width apart, glutes engaged, abs engaged, so we're not arching the back throughout. Now it won't take long before these babies start to burn. And the deltoids are pumping. No swing into the back and stop. Now we're going to the bicep curls. We're going to do alternate curls. So up to the left and down. Really get maximum flex on your biceps with this, guys. Try not to swing it up. Shouldn't be coming right the way up to your shoulder. Your elbow should stay nice and tight into your ribs. Yeah, it's a reasonably small muscle grip of the biceps, so it'll not take long for these babies to start burning. And stop, now we're going to lie flat in the back, we're going to do some ab crunches here. We're going to take the dumbbells in our hand for these, and we crunch up to the side like so, and then on to the other side. So, going to the opposite side of the knee. You're in like a skull crusher tricep extension position to start with. As you raise up, crunch the dumbbell to the opposite side. That extra bit of weight. Extra bit of resistance caused by the dumbbell makes it a little bit tougher. Makes you engage your core a little bit more. And you should start to feel this burning pretty quick. Keeping the dumbbells in hand, we're coming up into tricep extensions next. So we're going to go double arm kick, or sorry, kickbacks. So we elbows up and line the spine, we're going to do one at a time. Don't let the dumbbell come up to your shoulder, trying to avoid getting any extra momentum. Take the onus off the tricep. Stop, now we're gonna go pack crossovers, dumbbell crossovers, call them what you will. You really gotta squeeze your pack for this one. Keep the arms straight. Squish those packs together. Really engage the pectoral muscles when you're doing this guy. Get as tight a contraction as you can. It's very easy to cheat in this one and just swing your arms from side to side. But if you're really focusing, on the muscle grip you're trying to hit, you really feel that's really effective. And 
my last exercise, we're gonna go front raise. I'm gonna alternate, so. Left arm up again, core strong, abs drawn in, no swinging. Eyes up front. Up. Whew, that's us done. That was a quick 10 minutes there, guys. Oh, hope you all felt the burn of that at home. Um, if you felt that was a little easy and you got more juice in the zest, then up the weights a little bit for next time and try it again. Or wind it back, start from scratch, and go again. Hope you all enjoyed that, guys. That was a pretty intense 10 minutes, but again, You've got more weight, if you've got more weight at your disposal, try it a little heavier on some of the exercises, chop and change your dumbbells if need be, because some of those will feel a little tougher uh, with heavier weights and some of them will feel too tough with, or sorry, too easy um, with the light ones. So, if you like what you saw here today, guys, check out our other videos here. We got 250 videos or something like that uh, with a workout for everybody on there. We got the hit the notification button and the subscribe button so you never miss a Zis Fitness workout again. Please leave your comments, let us know what you think and what you want from us in the future. Have a good one guys, see you soon.